the masked man. In 1959, hockey was a scary game. NHL players didn't wear helmets, and goalies didn't wear masks. It was a scary time. Players zoomed around the ice, chasing the puck. Goalies stood tall in net, just waiting to block a shot. Lots of players got hurt. They had no protection for their heads and faces. Finally, one Montreal Canadian decided he'd had enough. Jacques Plante wanted a change. Jacques had been a goalie for about 10 years. He'd been hurt many times. He'd broken a lot of bones. Jacques wanted to find a way to protect his face. Goalies had tried masks before. None of them had worked. Then something lucky happened. One day, an inventor saw Jacques get hit in the head with a puck. He offered to make Jacques a mask. The mask looked a little spooky, but Jacques loved it. He started to wear the mask at every practice. Jacques' coach did not like the mask. He thought goalies played better when they were a little scared. The coach told Jacques he couldn't wear his mask in real games. Jacques wasn't happy. Then, during one game, a puck hit Jacques right in the face. It hit him really hard. The puck cut Jacques' face and broke his nose. Jacques skated off the ice. He went to the locker room. A doctor taped Jacques' nose and sewed up his cut. It took seven stitches. Then the coach came in. He wanted Jacques to get back out on the ice. The game needed to go on, but Jacques said no. I won't play, said Jacques, unless I can wear my mask. The coach was very angry. Outside the locker room, the clock was ticking. The players and fans were waiting for the game to start again. Finally, the coach made a decision. Okay, he said to Jacques, you can wear the mask this time. Jacques skated back onto the ice. He was wearing his mask. Everyone was shocked. They thought Jacques looked strange. They thought he looked silly. But then something great happened. Jacques played so well that the Canadians won the game. They won the next game too. Jacques and the Canadians won 11 games in a row. By then, Jacques' cut had healed. Lots of people were teasing him about wearing the mask. Jacques didn't care. He liked his mask, but his coach still didn't like it. So, in the next game, Jacques played without his mask. The Canadians lost. The coach wanted to win. The team wanted to win. The fans wanted to win. So the coach let Jacques wear the mask again. It worked. The Canadians started to win again. They even won the Stanley Cup. Soon, other goalies started wearing masks. Today, all players wear helmets. All goalies wear masks. And we have a goalie named Jacques Plante to thank.